Hello, productive people. My name is Carter Sirach, and on this channel, my goal is to help you guys to reduce the friction between you and your goals, especially when it comes to your digital life and your work life online. So we bring you guys different applications that I believe will help you out with just be being more efficient and just having more delight in the work that you do. So one of the applications that I've really been enjoying lately is kind of a home screen for your browser and it's a way to save tabs more efficiently and just kind of have them organized a little bit better and in my opinion it does it better than any browser ever has and today we're going to be reviewing tab extend so i'm really excited for this one if you guys do want to access this it's a lifetime deal similar to tidy cow which i reviewed a little while back on this channel TidyCal is like a, basically an alternative to apps like Calendly and Acuity Scheduler, and it's a lifetime deal. So whenever I'm like reviewing a lifetime deal, a lot of times these are like limited time uh, deals where they're offering a one-time payment for a lifetime license to the software, which in my opinion is just a beautiful investment because it allows you to get in early and help fund this software. And if you believe in the founder, uh, you better believe that they're going to be uh, improving on their software over time and it's just going to go up from there. So you're going to reap all of the benefits and the updates from that software if you choose the right one and if you choose the right founder. So um, if you do want to go ahead and get access to this lifetime deal, I'll have a link in the top pinned comment. I'll also have a link in the description and I'll talk a little bit more about what that deal entails and, and how it works at the end of this video. But for now, we're going to be reviewing tab extend. So. I look forward to getting into it. Let's do this. So I'm just jumping into my browser here. And as you can see right off the bat, we have a few different things going on. And this is actually my own custom setup for tab extend. I've got a favorites group right here that just has a few of my favorite tools, Miro, Notion, ClickUp, Coda, and TidyCal. So these are just the tools that I kind of use on a daily basis. And I just want to have them within a clicks reach. So if I wanted to run over to Notion, I could just click on Notion right here and it's going to open up Notion. I can I can log in. So yeah, it's basically like a it's basically like a bookmarking software. If I want to head over to Miro, you do that. Just sign in. Um, but yeah, it basically just bookmarks these different things and I can sort of drag them around. I can add these headers and change the color of them if I wanted to or change the name of them. I can also, uh, you know, kind of divide it up with different headers. So I've got like a tools and a personal here. So there's a few different things down here that are more like personal. Like let's say I want to take a typing test. Boom, I can just open this up and I can take a quick typing test. The nice thing is, is like whenever you have a tab open, like right now I have productive dude open right here. As you can see, it pops up right over here. So all of my active tabs are gonna show up right here. Let's just say I go and uh, duplicate this tab. Let's say I just go to um, maybe one of my specific videos, like, like this one here, eight time saving MacBook shortcuts. So this video right here uh, is now open. And as you can see, I have two shortcuts here. So one of them is my channel and one of them is that video but I can drag these very easily into my favorites or I can drag them into one of these other tabs. So the nice thing about this is you can actually organize into different groups uh, for whatever area you want to. So like for me, I like to organize home tools, finances and save for later because there are certain things that I just like to hold on to uh, and kind of like, Maybe I'll reference back to them in a few months, but I don't spend a lot of time on this page particularly. So let's look at tools. So on tools, I kind of have it broken down into the different tools that I use with my marketing agency, with web design, personal tools like Volt.fm. It's a really cool Spotify analytics tool that like gives you more insight into the music that you're listening to on your Spotify account. And I've got money tools over here. And let's just say these were like tool login pages or something like that rather than YouTube videos. Well, it's as simple as just dragging them into a section and moving them around and then you can kind of edit it and change the name. So, you know, you can hit save. I'm just going to delete that out of there because obviously not a tool, but that's kind of how that works. I'm not going to go to my finances tab that might get a little bit personal, so I don't want to go too in depth there. 
but it's basically just actually I can go over there. I'll just have my editor blur things out. So here we are in my finances tab and I have the information here blurred out just because I don't want to share which financial institutions I use or which applications I use for my bookkeeping. Uh, I just assume keep that private, but I've got seven websites right here that are like kind of my reserves. And these are all of the banks that I use, the different financial institutions where I hold money, different investment sites. And then over here we have like bills, which is all of the credit cards that I use. I like to, uh, you know, take advantage of different credit card rewards programs. So I have a few different credit cards that I run a lot of my expenses through. So it's nice to have all of them there so I can keep tabs on it. And then over here, I have some bookkeeping tools that I've dragged in here. And it's kind of, this one's kind of a process. It's like, think about it like, you know, step one, step two, step three, and step four. I've got a different application that I use for filing my bookkeeping and filing my taxes on a monthly basis. So that's kind of nice to just have that all right there. And if I wanted to, uh, I'm not going to do it with the bookkeeping page, but let's just go over to the save for later page. For instance, if I wanted to, I could uh, open up an entire section of uh, bookmarks. So if I clicked up here and I hit open in new window, it's going to open up all six of these, uh, all six of these different pages. So that's a pretty neat way to interact with the tool. So if you had a process like I do with my bookkeeping tools, I can just click on this and open all of these sites and then I can get into it. Or if I wanted to pay my bills, I can just click into this, open all the sites and make sure that everything gets paid for and I don't forget any of the cards or my rent payment or anything like that. Now I'm going to quickly navigate back to the home page, and as you can see, there's also this built-in to-do feature. So instead of like dragging pages in here, you can also create little text bubbles. So if I wanted to, I could just write like goals down here and I could change the color of that. And then below that, we can add even more so I can add it like a to do list. So maybe I have all my goals listed here, you know, and this isn't like a very robust tool, but it is nice to just allow you to focus on one thing at a time when you are trying to uh, just create a basic to do list and you're not trying to get wrapped up in any project management softwares. Um, I still use project management software. I don't use this a ton, but if I'm just trying to get a quick sprint in and you know, some like focused work, this has worked extremely well for that. And then once I'm done with a task or like once I'm done with a day, I can just simply drag them and add them to this trash list right here and it'll delete those items so that I don't have to see them anymore. So like, let's say I was done with all of these for today. I would just drag them in and then like film tab and review. When I finish that, I would drag that in. And then for uh, tomorrow, tomorrow would become today and maybe later this week would become tomorrow. Uh, so that's kind of how that works. It's a pretty simple setup but this is pretty much everything. The other thing that I'll note is that this is set to your default homepage on whatever browser you're using. So when I open a new tab, it just brings me straight here, which I quite like because if I have this favorites tab here, it'll give me access to everything that I need uh, right away. The other nice thing about this is I believe that they're working on an integration with Zapier and some other softwares so that you can add different uh, different pages in here, or you can add different pages to other softwares like dynamically and automatically using an integration tool like Zapier. You can also share this with team members and you can uh, have as many seats as you want. Of course, like there's extra payment that goes into like getting more seats, but I could see this being very useful in my company. Right now I'm just using it mostly personally but you can create a whole section where it's just like your company tools that you use or your company resources so that anyone that is like a shareholder uh, can go in there and they can actually like utilize those tools. And maybe um, it would go along well with like uh, an SOP or a workflow if you wanted to create like a specific group for something. So with that guys, that's pretty much the review, but I'm gonna talk a little bit more about this deal because I think it's uh, steel right now, especially because they're continuing to add on to tab extend and the fact that they're offering a lifetime deal means that you might be able to get in on this 
early while it's still around. And there are a lot of lifetime deals that I've personally missed out on that I regret missing out on. So I don't want you guys to miss out on this one if it looks like something you're interested in. So that's why I'm going to cover uh, how that deal is structured really quick. All right, so here we are on AppSumo, which is basically like Amazon, but for applications. And uh, as you can see, this is a $59 lifetime deal. You can read reviews. You can also go down here and you can read a message from the founder. Uh, he basically just gives a uh, short bio of like what the software does, why he created it, what the features are, and like what's on their roadmap. And then if you want to, you can search through the reviews for a certain keyword, like I could type in integration. And as you can see here, this guy mentions integrations in his review. So that being said, you know, this is a useful way to, to kind of like figure out if the software is going to be a good fit for you. Um, but yeah, just click the link in my description if you want to be taken here and just hit buy now and then go through that process and you can redeem this deal. And you'll have access to the software forever, even after they start updating this and, uh, you know, continue adding to it. So just make sure that you take a look at this. Uh, unlimited collaborators, that's the nice thing about this. Uh, unlimited workspaces, unlimited items saved. There are a lot of benefits to this. So, and of course, all future pro plans. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know what you guys think about this type of video. I'm not sure if this is something that you guys like, but this is just a tool that I've personally been using for a little while that I've really enjoyed. And I hope that you enjoy this too. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Like, do you like these kind of videos? Do you not? I know my channel is mainly focused around Notion, um, but I'm trying to branch out into other softwares as well and uh, just test the waters because Notion isn't the only software I use by far. There's a lot of different uh, tools that I'm testing out on a regular basis. And I think it's an evolving process. So let me know what you think. Also like this video if you did enjoy or dislike it if you didn't. Uh, either way, and subscribe if you want to stay updated with my content. Make sure to hit the bell icon if you really do want to be notified when I come out with a video, because otherwise, it'll probably go right over your head. You'll probably miss it uh, if you don't hit the bell. Uh, YouTube probably won't even let you know I made a video. So with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.